Today's demonstration is designed to instruct you on using Metastock and the accompanying software plugins. It's not a recommendation to buy or sell, but rather guidelines to interpreting and using specific indicators and features within the software. The information, software, and techniques presented today should only be used by investors who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Metastock should have no liability for any investment decision based on the use of the software, any trading strategies, or any information provided in connection with the company. So I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let's go ahead and kind of talk a little bit about our presenter today. Uh, Peter uh, is uh, a partner of Metastock for a number of years. He released uh, uh, maybe like 15 years ago, maybe a little bit more, uh, he released a product that was insanely popular called the FXTA or the Forex Traders Advantage product. Uh, customers absolutely loved it. Over the past 10 or 15 years, he's been developing and designing the Magic Trader program and enhancing it. And uh, it's been a program that people really like. He's going to talk a lot about it and the ingredients for a successful trade today. So with that being said, let's go ahead and bring you in here, Peter. How are you today? All right, Jeff, how are you? Doing great. We're doing awesome over here. Thank you. I'm going to go uh, ahead. Thank you. Yeah, thank you for having me. You're welcome. I will have, uh, it's good to have you. All right, and thank you, everybody, for coming in. Okay, my name is Peter Dalal. Today we will try to do things within the time limits we have. All right, so hopefully everybody's happy today, and uh, you had a good day in training. I'm happy today, and I, I want to just confirm um, that we can see your screen. Uh, we can yeah. hear you really well, and uh, I'm going to get out of your way and let you go. All right, perfect. So these are the topics today we're going to do it, and we will try to reduce some of them, especially disclaimer, which we require by law to talk about it. So I just want to be upfront with you. We are required by law. People skip it or not read it, but we will try to do a brief description of that, but at least we will show you what they look like, right? Also, the copies are available through the magictrader.com website, as well as you could ask Jeff, or you could go on a Facebook. Also, you could have the same disclaimer. They are throughout uniform everywhere. So today, we're going to be talking about what is our goals for this webinar. Then we're going to talk about Magic Trader ingredients. We'll introduce you Magic Trader, then how the design was done, a little bit about us, then how to find pinpoint entries and exit in any market condition. Everybody knows today, brutal market, right? And still there were opportunity available with Magic Trader. We're going to go into that. Then we're going to talk about what is that secret beside these five ingredients. We talk about how to capture those moments which are existing in any market condition, any security, and they are easy to find it. So we're going to hunt it, hunt them down, and I will hunt it with you. So this way you also get a confidence. So we will show you how to find them. And we're going to use the Explorer. And then we're going to talk about the charts. And hopefully we have time to discuss with the things you like it. But again, I'm not going to give you recommendations to buy, hold, or sell securities. I will give you my views, what I will do based on the technicals. But definitely you cannot go and buy and sell those securities. This is the most important thing we want to be telling you in upfront. So without further ado, we're going to get those disclaimer quickly and get it out of my way and your way. So again, trading any securities involves substantial risk and you can lose all the money you have it plus more in some strategies. Only trade fund should be used which you could afford to lose. There are no guarantees of any profits or freedom from losses. Past performance is not guarantee of future results. There is no representation here to buy or, or sell any securities. This is for education purpose only. Consult your investment advisor for any financial decision. Magic Trader does millions of calculations and requires specialized computer. 
or you could upgrade the computer. This is required by CFTC 4.41 and we are registered with them. So results are simulated and hypothetical in nature and does not represent any actual trading. Testimonials do not guarantee future results. Hypothetical simulated performance are generally prepared with the benefit of hindsight. No hypothetical or simulated trading record can actually be accounted for the impact of the financial risk of actual trading. Options are risky. You could lose a lot of money in some strategy. As I said before, you could lose more money than you invested. You could get the slides uh, or a booklet from OCC and you could consult them directly. And options are very risky. Again, Serdar Enterprises does not provide any personal investment advice. None of the content should be construed as an offer to sell or solicitation of any buy or sell or recommendation to hold these securities. You alone are responsible for your determination whether you want to invest into any strategies using Magic Trader. You should consult your registered investment advisor. Do not trade money you cannot afford to lose. All trades, patterns, charts, systems discussed here are illustrative purpose only and you should consult your investment advisor to do interpretation if you cannot do it. We have intellectual property rights. Everything you see, including education stuff, copyrighted. We have patents, patents pending. We have trademark, service fund, etc. Please respect our intellectual properties. Last year, President Trump passed this law, so everybody should know, commercial streaming of copyrighted material is illegal. Here, our courses, product services, alert services, these are all for education purpose only, and you should be aware of the risk. And as I said before, Saved Our Enterprises is regulated by CFTC. Now, we do not track any results. So somebody says on a Facebook, they made million dollar. We have no way to verify it. So it's all hypothetical and non-typical. We get passive income from Metastock for royalty and our team leaders also get the some kind of compensation. And uh, the Magic Trader University is not credited university, rather a registered trademark of a logo name. Okay, so now today we're gonna to be talking about goals of this webinar. So as you see here, we're going to be learning something, how to pick up the ingredients, just like kitchen here, right? Or you go on a supermarket, you want to prepare a food. So you selecting few ingredients. So I took a picture, right? Without copyrights, basically it was allowed, right? And try to, give you an idea. So even in a kitchen, your mom, my wife, or your wife, or somebody wants to cook it, they need the ingredients to make it look tasty. Same thing happens in our trading business. So we're gonna be talking about those ingredients today. Another goal is to introduce you the technology which has been used since 2006. So Magic Trader first went in the use with a company called Bear Stern because somebody we knew had an issue with the portfolio looking upside down. So we corrected their portfolio and they were very happy. That's how we first put it to application on institutional side. So all the trades we try to do, Magic Trader can find low risk pinpoint entries with those five ingredients. So this is the most important thing in the trading, how to find those moments where you could feel comfortable. Now we're gonna also talk about bullish direction today, even the market in last few days is unbelievably volatile as well as people lost a lot of money. 
So we're going to find the trades in that market. So what we talk about here, at least two magic ingredients in that, and one of these things which give the light to this trade and give a booster kind of thing. That's called catalyst in our layman language. We're going to find those and we're going to use them today. So you're going to see a bunch of lines and a bunch of symbols. Don't get nervous about it because magic trade is huge. It was originally designed for the institution, not for retail. So we scale it down. But those are wonderful things exist there and a lot of secrets are there. And you don't need to know all. You focus on simple things first, make some money, then worry about other things to learn. So as I talked before in the kitchen, we need these ingredients for magic trader on a bullish side. We need those five ingredients. So there is a vertical line, which is thick line. That's number one. Number two ingredient has a subcategories, 2A, 2B, and 2C, which I'm going to discuss on the chart. But that makes number two. Then third one is like a vertical uh, triangle, right? As number three. Then if this is thinner than this line is number four. Then fifth is having HDR symbol with a green kind of filling in there or a pattern there. That's number five. That's what you need to recognize on the chart. Nothing major. You got to do analytical work. Software does all for you. Each of them has a lot of depth of calculations. You don't need to know about it. You don't need to worry about it. You just have to physically recognize it. And if you are not willing to do that, you could scan those things. Now, let's talk about Magic Trader, what it is. It's a multi-dimensional risk analyzing software. It was invented by my daughter and I. So this is kind of more focused on the risk in the market every step of the way and recognize them rather than worry about the price. So basically we focus on the risk, doesn't matter what the price is. So this way we reduce the emotions from the trading. That's what it was designed, and that's what I was struggling myself because the way in which it is, how much is the price? No, how much is the risk? That's what I learned hard way, and it was very awakening for me. So it is about now risk and risk and risk only. On a Wall Street, I had a history of making big, big kind of booze, right? People hear it and they recognize, oh, that's the guy. Now, I got a reputation most conservative. I do not take unnecessary risk at all. But that doesn't mean I don't lose money. We all lose money. You got to take the losses in order to reduce the risk because market turn around, nothing you could do about it. Temporary, but that could become permanently. So you got to take a loss at that time. Doesn't matter, come back or not come back. So you could always go back. There's no commission now. So why are you worried about it? So we need to worry about risk every step of the way and magic terror shows on every candlestick what is the risk. Now, how we design these things? So what I realized, it is not about price. It's about when people cumulatively believe that this is the time we want to get in there. And that creates the trend. So we need to find those believers right, in some kind of presentation, which I'm gonna show you. So as long as, long as you are on their side, or cumulatively around the world, and institutions, they are making those decisions to go long or short. They believe in that, that's what they call believers at that time, right? So that's what Magic Trader figured out in dynamic and adaptive method. So that helps us to find Entries also exit on a pinpoint kind of method and also include those risks. And also it forecast as we go. So we're gonna show you some of these things. Now, let me tell you a little bit about me. I've been trading before I came here. I was a, you know kind of 
set and forget kind of investor, right? Long term kind of thing. Then I learned my lesson. This is all nonsense. You know, you got to take the advantage of movement of the market. Then I become a swing trader, scalper, and whatever. And I wind up on a Wall Street managing other people's money as well as in a partnership with the firm where I hold my license with. So that's my background, right? And I spoke for Reuters and Jeff and Kelly and I and everybody else around him. We used to travel together all over the country, a couple of countries also. We went there together and that was many years, right? Then I had to figure out a way that I do not have to do too much technical analysis. That was the reason why the software magic trader was born so my daughter was very young right and her name is surbi and she put countless amount of hours because i handle multiple businesses so she's been really put everything together in a way all these symbols color there were ten thousand items when we file this application, several application with pattern office. It was like a mind boggling what I enter into, but at the end it works for me and few people. So I'm happy with that. So she has a good background. You could see here, she also holds series three and 34 license. She works for Goldman Sachs. She moved out because she got married. So we can't stop them, but she is in a good hand. Before that she, work for CBRE on you know, real estate. So she has a lot of experience with me as well as outside world. Now let's go back to those fine ingredients, what they are. So the vertical line here is the direction line. These three lines are for bullish line. What do you need to know? Color purple, color blue. These two lines should be parallel where the risk is lowest risk and it should be about that line. That's about it. You do not need to learn about this indicator at all. That's what it is. So we don't need to make a project oscillator, this and that. We don't need to know about it because that's what was driving me nuts. And interpretation also can drive you nuts. So we kept it simple. Everything is in there. So this is a part of the health and this all items. So internal health of the security is measured by them. And there are two more, but at least uh, this thing you recognize parallel, we good to go. And they have to be above zero line in order to be bullish. If it is bearish, it's opposite. Tartar line is on top and they are below the below the tartar line. That makes them bearish. And you could see from color. Here is green, this is red, right? This one, the same color, but opposite. And here we call that as a spike. That's a direction line, uh, not direction, entry, uh, bullish entry here. This is the direction line, entry. So they give you entries in and out of the trade if you want to, based on their shape. This is for bearish direction. And this is called pure health. So if the health is good, we're good. And then this is horizontal time risk. It has everything to do with the time. So the ingredients is the components or they are the elements or a mixture of this element makes it entry and exit. That's what it is. So you could use these symbols on a chart and make decision right away. So now, I have a dog, so I figured out, okay, let me find a picture, royalty free, copyright free, right? And then I little bit adjusted, right? So today is the day. Let's drive into those five magic ingredients on the chart. So what we're gonna do, first I'm gonna show you the chart, what we learn, apply a little bit, then we go on a real chart. So that sounds easier for people to digest. So I took a chart, I don't know which security was that, it looks good, right? They line up, so this is the easiest way for you to, again, digest what you learned a few minutes ago. So let me show you. So this is that vertical line, thick line. That's number one ingredient. We're going bullish direction. Those are those three items we talked about it. These are in the health window. We call whole thing upper side is a health window. Those three different elements, right, to a 
2B and 2C. So purple line and this blue line, they are parallel and they are about dotted line. So that's about it. That's the only thing you need to know. Then third thing is this spike, which is also giving you direction in a way, entry direction. So basically, these are the entries actually. And green is the color going in a bullish direction practically. And they are moving higher. Now, how to exit? That's one of the things people worry about. So this is the opposite of this green spike. So that's where we get out. However, software try to tell you here, pullbacks coming, pullbacks coming. So then if you want to stay in there, then you get uh, you know troublemaking. Like <laughs> this is indefinitely going down, right? Where it goes, we don't know it from the chart, but why you want to stay until then? So you start taking your profit and put a tight stop. Where to put this tight stop? You could put a tight stop here, or at that time, if you are really very sensitive, we are collecting money since long time. So put a tight stop underneath even the green line. If you get stopped out here, it's fine. We don't need to wait for here. So traders use all kind of stuff, right? Basically, the way in which I do it, because this can make me lose opportunity. As long as it does not close below it and it close above it, I'll stay in a trade. So I also very sensitive. I like to take my profit and I will re-enter. Re Depends upon how much risk I'm carrying. So long story short, the exit is your choice. Right? I can tell you when to get out, but at least they tell you that get out, right? It talks to you. You don't need to wait for direction to come in here, right? You don't need to wait for a spike to come in. Even halfway, you get out, take the profit. That's the way you risk manage it and capitalize on. So let me uh, let me go back to the chart. I'm going to bring the chart and then we're going to come to this slide. So what I did, I tried to show you Microsoft, which today mood extraordinary it's insane move but want to show you on the chart how today's conditions were so everybody talks about the big shot right so look at the remarkable reversal from downward movement and it was eight nine dollars i was looking for a long time to get into entry for option trade right and i couldn't get the entry right because i don't chase so long story short, let's recognize these items. I'm going to enlarge a little bit here. So that's where you get an idea, real application. Say for instance, you wanted to go on a Microsoft. So I always look for bigger time frame first. So how it looks on a bigger time frame. So let me go a little bit further here and you will be shocked how long, how many months it's been going on. Look at this here. The direction line came in, right? In, in, 5.31.2019, Microsoft is uptrending. Look at the application, this two were parallel, right? At that time, spike was there. HE means health, pure health was good in that. And look what is happening. So we call these two green and red lines are magic lines. That was the first one I invented. It has nothing to do with what you see normally. I don't want to talk about the names, but these are not those two lines. They were specially designed and we stayed away from traditional indicators altogether. It took me six months to design this green line. I could have taken from Metastock the same line. What are you talking about? It? I was not interested in. And you see the power on a bigger time frame, as well as same power. Look here, going on you know, weekly chart. They're going to the moon. That's what they're telling, right? They keep on going. They Once they cross, they don't work like a traditional indicator. There's a different way of even entering. Look here. They keep on going, keep on going, keep on going forever kind of things. Doesn't end. So 
this can go up and down. It doesn't matter. You look at the bigger time frame. So I just wanted to let you know. But however, we miss the boat. So what do we do, Peter? Don't worry. We go with the basic things you learn. Two lines parallel. This is the direction line. This is a spike to go in a vertical direction, right? Go vertical here. So we call a spike. And you could see here the entries. Look at here. Entry spike. We miss the boat, so what, right? This black candle, we're gonna talk in a bit, but bottom line here, you look to parallel lines, right? You see this thing, few things matching, we're good to go. Now, Peter, what is this? So let me show you, those are the designator, which forecasting things. They're telling we're going to go to the moon. There's no guarantee, but it says, magic terrorists tell that, in earlier time, it's telling that we're going to go higher. And what is the risk? It's a 3.4. Three is the designation for that forecasting. And four on a scale of one to six is a degree four risk. So you are aware that stay tuned, it can turn around because risk is high. So what is the magic lines going to the moon? Right, so that's how we find the trade. So same way, look when it matches everything, this also, right, started going in the right direction since when? Let me alert a little bit so you could look at that. Look at here. The direction line came here. Right. It was not a good match here. It was a little bit, but magic lines were above. Right, rate was above. The, so you wait if you want to and wait for, they get parallel. The spike is there and this color candle, we call them perceptors. That's another part. We're gonna uh, talk one of these days, but everything start lining up. So you go here. You don't need to worry about this. Nothing late with the magic line. Or you don't want to wait. Uh, what you, you want to wait until it crosses its fine. You're still good to go. And results are very obvious. So this gives you flexibility because these are the component. So later on, we're going to talk. Two, three of those meet together. They lining together. You're good to go. You don't need to go complicated way of analyzing and create paralyzed situation. This is my favorite. I don't want to get into, but we have people, hopefully some people are here. They could tell, I've been telling two years before to these people and I have real evidences, institution taking place. So you don't need to call your buddy on a Merrill Lynch desk. Hey, what are you doing? You don't need to ask for, because I was one of them trading on institution side. So all these things are showing institution piling up. And first time I showed these people real time, people who are my alert room, those evidences. They recognize the color, they believe it in, and they go in there, right? If you don't believe it, doesn't matter to me. Now these forecasters telling me going to the moon. So what do you want? Look at here, three in a row. This is very powerful. So those are the kind of things Magic Trader has inside of it. So people can see days were bad. Voila, look what happened. This become number uh, value four and one. That's what you need. And they are going to be parallel, but values are four and one and about dotted line. Thing, direction already there. And spike was already there. So magic lines are looking good. So we're good to go. You could enter here in the morning or you could have entered here. Even though the whole market was like screaming for help, we were telling we're going higher on a Microsoft. This is the way, and you could scan every single of those ingredients. So we're gonna get into those things. And look at here, if you miss the boat, look here. They become parallel here. Right, and then this spike came in, and you could have entered here at one o'clock, right here. 
10, 1 o'clock, and we went a little bit higher, or you could have gone it here, right? So people in a room or alert room, they know if few things matches, they're good to go. Here is good, so what are you waiting for? So you could get the entry at yellow bar, which is gonna talk about, they, we call them as a catalyst. So you have a good catalyst, one catalyst, and you have a spike and green ribbon, good to go. So let's talk about that now, how we could do all those things. So as I said in the chart, those catalysts are here, right? You you saw black one, you saw, I don't think you see turquoise, but oh, I forgot to show you right here, look. Here, the turquoise bar came on a monthly and look what happened. It really moved, right? If you see here from 260 area to 290 area, so those catalysts are very powerful. Catalysts came in here, catalysts came in here. So that's how you recognize them. Look, the black is the catalyst. It came in here, so black catalyst and a neutralization is ready to go. And results are very obvious. So let's talk about theoretical. So these are the catalysts we talk about. When we take this catalyst, and put it with those components, five ingredients component, they become explosion and create a lot of opportunity. That doesn't mean that you cannot use more than two. Two is the minimum to have some kind of good output in trading. So out of five ingredients, if you do have two matching and one of the catalysts, we good to go and I show you that on a Microsoft, right? So let's go and talk about more. So how to find them? So we're gonna hunt them down. So I try to be having some humor. So I went to hunting, right? To find, find hunting tools and where we could get it. This is the magician, has everything, right? Ingredients hunter master. This is the master, where do we go? To the master, master has his arsenal right, secret weapons, right? Don't worry about 725, that's for institution, but at least Madastock give you 39, that's more than enough. So we find that tool, you know, I, I don't think I, I spell it right, but it doesn't matter, treasure tool, right? But these are the explorer, and that's where you find those catalysts, as well as those fine ingredients. So those are the tools we are going to be using for the bullish believers. So we are bullish, so that's what we do. So what I did, I'm going to get into the actual explorer in a minute, but what I did is to explain to you how we could utilize that tool. So this is the name of the tool, right, in explorer. Then these are the meanings of those 12 columns right here. Once you get meta, uh, magic trader, right, you will have the same thing. So these are the names and these are the explanation. So you could do yourself. And I try to put those catalyst picture here so you don't forget them. Those are most dangerous, dangerous in our favor. Those are the catalysts here. Column G, H and I, which are here. Look, try to match the color so you could find them. So these are bullish ingredients, five of them. So they are here, so I put it down the names, right? So this way it's easy for you to find it. So those are those five ingredients. So you need to find few of them matching with few of these, right? And we're good to go. So <laughs> we are not done yet. I'm going to do what I promised you to do. So what I did, right? I found a couple of things out of 4,500, right? Which kind of doing what they're supposed to do. And what I will do, I will open up those charts. So this is the real explorer done at 416 before, just a few minutes before, uh, before the webinar, right? And these are the components we're looking for. So only thing out of all, only one matching, all five ingredients and and yellow bar. So you could count here, look, 
number one, number one, number one, number one, number one, number one, and that's it. So five plus one. This is out of 4,500 optionable stock. But we have other opportunity. We're going to go through it, which has a higher volume. Really, I don't care about the volume, but I don't want to get sucked in a trade with less liquidity, especially when there is a crisis going on on a market. So you want to stay with the highest liquid stock. Otherwise, you're going to get stuck forever and they're going to forget you if you're in a wrong train that you got to then walk through yourself. So we're going to open up first this chart, right? So I'm going to go and click it and bring that chart together so you could look at that, all five ingredients. So let me move this one over. So we are not done, but I just want to show you. I'm gonna bring the chart over and then I'm gonna click some of them. So I scan daily chart, right? And look at here. And the way to do it and people who are using it, I think some people don't realize they people are used to at the end of the day, which is great, but the opportunity is there in the morning. So what I do at 9.45 to 10 o'clock, right? I start skinny, screening daily chart. It's very tricky, right? 9.45, I start screening daily chart. Day is not over, so what? But now you see in this setup here, you're gonna see yellow bar and yellow bar forming here. That's cool. So now you see here, the direction was clear long time ago here. So I missed the board, whatever, but I catch up here. So I saw, right, the spike forming, yellow bar forming, parallel lines, good to go. And now you got a ride. So you don't need to wait. Oh, gap top, so what? You don't need to worry about gap filling. You know, it's so funny, my technical experience, gap doesn't need to be filled. 80, 90% doesn't get filled up right away. So forget about those things. You just worry about yellow bar, matching the ingredients, be good to go. And you could trade like a swing trading. You could do scalping, right, with this method, right? You could do anything, cryptos, you could do it. You could ETFs, futures, everything. Right, with this method, you don't need to check, oh, if I trade crypto, you need to learn this one. No, same thing works for everything. It's been tested more than 17 years, real time, real money, right? I cannot disclose, I manage money with that, and I'm regulated. What else do you want me to tell you, right? So basically, same software has produced a lot of things, but we put more stuff over the period of time to make my life easier. But the yellow bar was there since day one. So ingredients were there too. So long story short, again, people who are using existing mag uh, magic trader, they probably missed these kind of things. So I want to go out there to help them. There are there a sea bunch of people here. So again, start scanning daily chart. That will show you everything this setup. Look. Magic lines are all good here. They're going sideways, so what, right? There is a new trend developing. We're not done yet, but this is very positive. So you could make a few bucks, that's the idea. That doesn't mean tomorrow it will be tradable. We don't know, because nobody knows, because weekly is a little bit, but it is still green is over the red, right? So. We, we are okay, we are, we call that a risk reversion area. They eventually, if the market stays bullish, they're gonna go up. But the point I want to make it here, worst day today was a lot of negativity. We still finding the trade, every single thing matching. Here is a four, right, one, they're going to be parallel. So don't necessarily, you have to wait. It's a four and one, the first value and last value represent purple line on the top and blue line at the bottom. The blue line is here, right? But as we said, spike is forming. Yellow bar catalyst is there. This is 
good, health is good, and ribbon is good. So one, two, three, four, right? Then direction is already clear. All ingredients are there. So you don't need to go worry about things, even in a bad market, you could find it. Now we're gonna go with the things where we don't have every single thing. So let's get it here first. So you also feel confident about it. So UUP, I looked it at before, sounds great, right? So we we have here health matching, right? Then uh, pure health is good. Then green river is there. So a few of them. So let's try that. And it's a C candle. So we're going to click it. And let's see what happens. So just few of the components. Look what transpire. That was on a daily chart. Look what happened. That she can, and it had a forecasting on top of that. So in the morning, when things were rough, right? We got it here, right? The ingredients are there, right? On a 60 minute. So the point I want to make it here, make it simple, right? And look here, we had a new high on this one. It's unbelievable. And look at here, yellow bar came in here, right? On a one monthly. This is just starting kind of new trend eventually magic lines will cross by itself we don't need to wait for that yellow bar so ingredients are matching here too how about here yellow bar ingredients matching so we could go. oh how about here magic lines are telling that we are going to the moon so this is how you find it but there is no guarantee they're going to have a moon ride completed that's you as a trader get to get trained and you are not here, you can't jump in here and we're just doing education purpose only. Oh, that therapist bar showed up and look what happened. By definition, it is continuation of trend or reversal of the trend in a bullish direction. Suppose you are bearish, it tells you we're going bullish. What happened here? We went higher. You could do scalping if you feel that you are late into the game because you are too far from here. So. They keep on going, even in a bear market. So I could go on and let's see retail, Dollar Tree, what they're telling. It's going to show you some, oh, look at that. Who oh, was coming there? Institutions, look at here. So now all components are not matching, but this is coming parallel, right? Right here, this was already there, this coming in line, then this pure health and ribbon. Magic clients are telling you, we're going to the moon. Look what happened, making new highs. New highs in a vicinity. This is a 60 minute. We could take these, they are not Fibonacci. We don't use even Fibonacci. Ask people in a room, we don't even talk about it. That doesn't mean Fibonacci is bad, but these are dynamically taking all this risk and analyze it and forecast new levels. So that's how it is. And you could take that and put it here and see what it shows, new level. So everybody get a little idea. So we are almost there. 645. So Jeff, you could talk and mean after you talk, we'll take some question. How that sounds to That sounds fine. I don't, um, if you guys do have questions, please feel free to type them in. And I'd be happy to kind of talk a little bit about magic trader and kind of how it Yeah, works. go ahead. And let me just get a little bit set up right here. All right, very good. I'm gonna that go ahead. Time, right, Jeff? Yeah, no, uh, you're a little bit before I thought you would be. So let's go ahead and share the screen though. I do wanna talk a little bit about how people can get started with Magic Trader today. And um, so one of the things I do wanna talk about is how much is included in the Magic Trader product. Uh, in total, there's 58 different indicators. Um, there's 47 different explorations that you can use. Um, there is two expert advisors, 35 templates, a very, very descriptive manual. In fact, uh, for me personally, one of the things that I did when I was learning about Magic Traders, I actually just read the manual. And we have a lot more 
really good resources to help you going since then, but I was able to get it, understand it, start using it and start implementing it. It was really, really well put together between uh, both the manual writers that we have here and Peter, he worked very, very hard on it. So in addition to that, there's a ton of symbols that are kind of shown, Peter's shown, and he's done a really good job of showing the core ingredients you get the highlights, you do have a, a commentary window that actually uh, nice. displays. And one of the things I love about Metastock is that commentary window. You know, it allows you to kind of get, and one of the things I'd say that Peter and the programmers here at Metastock have done is to really take advantage of that commentary window. I always talk about the commentary and how I love the way that it actually kind of defines things. It helps you understand what's going on on a chart and uh, uh, it'll tell you, here's what this ingredient is doing. Here's what it means. And uh, it's all in plain English. And so it's almost like, uh, it's not exactly like having Peter over your uh, uh, shoulder helping you, but it's pretty, it does do a really good job of helping you kind of pull everything together and understand it. Uh, is that commentary is probably my second favorite feature in Metastock next to the scanning, because I love the ability to go through and scan 4,800 different charts all at a, the same time. So uh, I just think it's a, it's a great implementation. Um, uh, as part of the, uh, before we kind of get to this great, also as part of the Magic Trader Elite, you are going to get a uh, boot camp. Uh, this just included Peter sat down and recorded a boot camp that's part of your download screen. But in addition to that, uh, we actually did some paid classes that were we called the Fundamentals of Magic Trader. And those were a total of four different modules. You can kind of see the breakdown of the lessons right here on the chart. And um, Peter, again, was very, very thorough in kind of talking about the, the fundamentals and the uh, the dimensions of risk. And you can see uh, each of these message or each of these uh, of these initial training programs were less scheduled to go for, I think it was two hours. They actually ended up going for three or four hours each. And uh, it was over 12 hours of recording. And uh, I would encourage you to go through these. Peter does a really good job of kind of breaking down the different pieces of Magic Trader and really helping you understand how to do it. So uh, if you were to norm, uh, subscribe to this normally, uh, the Magic Trader is normally $1.99 per month, uh, which would be about $5.97. The training modules, the 12 plus hour recordings would be $9.99 for a total of $15.96. Uh, what we're gonna do here as part of the webinar special is we're gonna throw in uh, three months of uh, Magic Trader. It's normally $1.99 per month. Uh, you're going to get the training modules. That's normally $9.99. And if you need a copy of Metastock, our award-winning software program, we're also going to give you a free trial to that as well. Normally, like if you kind of added up the price of everything that's here on the screen, it would be a total of $18.46. But here at the webinar today, you're going to get actually a price of 848 so it's a it's a huge savings as part of that so there's a couple of different ways you can take advantage of this you can give us a call at 800-882-3040 uh, you can also chat online with us at metastock.com slash sales chat and uh, also if you have any questions one of the things you can do is we are happy to send you charts if you're kind of curious about how this looks on apple We'll send you a chart and you'll show you exactly where the buys and sells are for any instrument that you're interested in. Uh, the sales team here is very, very good. They're very, very friendly. They're very, very customer focused. And I think they do a great job. I'm a little biased because I work side by side with them, but I do think they do an outstanding job in terms of just making sure customers are taken care of and that they're happy. So again, you can call us at 800-882-3040 or you can visit us online at metastock.com slash sales chat, okay? The other thing that I, um, uh, if you already have Metastock or if you just wanna get Magic Trader to go with Metastock or maybe you have Magic Trader and you wanna get the fundamentals of Magic Trader training, we are offering specials on all of that. Uh, so if you just need Magic Trader, um, if you wanna subscribe to that, you can get that for 149 per month as a, a part of our introductory rate. Um, if you want Magic Trader, or if you have Magic Trader and you want to get the training that Peter spent forever getting ready and perfecting and just putting so much time into and effort and making sure it was all perfect, 
um, you can sign up for the training. It's normally $9.99, we'll give it to you here at $6.99. There's also a, a consulting service that Peter runs. Uh, it's called, well, I don't know, let's call it the Magic Trader Education Alert Room. But as part of that, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get, if you're interested in doing this, it's $2.99 per month, and it inclu includes two days per week of virtual room access. It's gonna, basically, he's gonna go in and uh, um, it's gonna teach you how to effectively analyze Magic Trader at various markets, including cryptos and Forex. You'll get Magic Trader chart analysis, you'll get strategies, secrets, you'll get uh, QA sessions, you'll be able to answer the questions that you have. Um, you really get a lot of really good trading education. Uh, you'll get, uh, a, they cover a lot of different topics there. They do a lot of like option strategies. They do a lot of special interest classes. It's really, really pretty interesting uh, in terms of what's included. Like they'll do short interest. They'll do a class on hedging strategies. They'll do entry analysis. They'll do sector rotation. Uh, one of the things that I will say about the, uh, the alert room and the education room is, Peter has a very, very dedicated group of people that have been students and part of this alert room forever. Uh, and since he started, well, not forever. We started it uh, maybe a year ago, uh, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but the people that have kind of been part of the alert room just absolutely love it. They always give really, really good feedback. And Peter does a really good job of kind of going the extra mile. Usually the sessions run long. Um, he'll go in and if there's something that he's looking at, he's gonna give you alerts on them. He, he does actually kind of go and do a sector breakdown report. He gives you access to his Facebook. I'd encourage you to try this because, you know, it's, it's $2.99 per month. Uh, but if you get a couple good trades from it, if you get some good ideas, if you get some good education, it's something that would, in theory, pay for itself, right? So if it's helpful for you, you can subscribe to it. If you like it, if it's helpful, you can keep it. Otherwise, it's a subscription and you can just cancel. So your risk is very low. Your reward can be quite high on this. So um, I would encourage you to try it. The people that actually are part of the room absolutely love it. So in any case, for today's special, if we just want to kind of recap that real quick, you can get three months of the Magic Trader program. That's normally $5.97. You can get the Magic Trader training modules, which is uh, that fundamentals of Magic Trader. That's normally $9.99. And if you need a copy of Metastock, we'll give you a free access to that with our institutional grade data. That's normally $2.50. Uh, in total, it's going to be $8.48 today instead of $18.46. And again, give us a call. $800. 882-3040, or um, you can chat online with us at metastock.com slash sales chat. So uh, let's go ahead and look and see if there's any but any questions that are coming in. I do see one. Let me kind of, um, I'm having, uh, let's see. Um, Dakari, actually we don't have a question, more of a comment. Dakari wants to say, uh, with the alert room, Peter does an amazing job. This is pretty pretty typical of the feedback that I get. I'm just go ahead and send this out to the room. Peter does an amazing job of showing us professional risk management methods and giving us insight at the real institutional data. I really love the software and its application. And Dakari, I know uh, I really appreciate the time that you've spent. I know you really, really, I, I know you love the room. So I appreciate your coming today. I appreciate the good feedback. Let's see if we have anything in the YouTube audience. Uh, in terms of um, questions or anything like that. Uh, let's see. No, we don't. So Peter, that's what we've got. Um, it doesn't look like there's a lot of questions that came in today. Um, I do wanna say thank you for coming in, sharing some time with us. Um, do you have any final thoughts you wanna share? Tell me, so actually there are a lot of opportunity uh, we believe that couple of sectors are still doing good, right? And uh, if the, what you call uh, people want to see, I could share some of them if they want to do it. Uh, look at this XLF, XLV, XLI. This is what I do. Uh, we have custom list of first the sector names itself and what rise up right so if you can allow me to project it i could show them this is how the results looks like yeah so sure. people can 
also benefit out of it. The market is bad, but we don't need to go crazy. Look at here, utility, right? There are a bunch of ones here, right? That's what you have to look for it. Uh, then see XLI, XLV, then you got to see these sectors. So you don't need to go and scan thousands of things. First, without sectors, you're not gonna go too far. Everybody knows that. Where the ORs are, right? Look at the XLF has. Then you go on a scan those. Peter, just, just so you're aware, we don't see your screen yet. No? No, I'm no. Sorry. Is there, no, you're fine. Don't worry. Right. I need to, okay, I'm I'm sure you need. No, okay. we can see it now. So what I did, I just copied the results, right? This afternoon, right? Uh, so, not to the last moment, but get an idea how people should be look for things. First of all, money rotates every day, right? And you need to find out where the money is going. And underlying securities goes under this sector names, right? And if this sector is not doing good, securities you could kiss and goodbye. You're gonna be alone there. So I like to see where the ORs are. So this is how I found the ORs. So XLF is doing good, right? There's some kind of, and basic one is a type A perceptors. So institutions are taking positions. That's what I'm looking for. Number one or number two at least. So here, so people looking some bargains here. Right, so now you go and I have here on a scanning, right, all these things lined up. So one should know, and I think Metastock has given a lot of information people need to use. So what are the sectors, this and that, right? So here, oh, your sectors, what happened to your sector? Right here. So you could pick up all this stuff from here, and make your own custom list, right? Which are the most popular? So that's what I do. So I will go and like XLV or XLM, whatever it is. So I will use those custom and scan it and based out of the base, I'll pick it up. So now the sector is good and I now see which one are the front runner and that's what you should do. And then fine ingredients are there. You could use all day. So what I did, say for instance, you want to know how many, what stocks are there. I give it away to people, all this stuff. So this way, I don't need to go crazy looking for good stuff. So this becomes my watch list. Oh, we do have and, a question for you, Peter. Yeah. Matthew uh, wanted to know if there, what are the good exit sign indicators? Exit sign, okay. First of all, let me show you on a chart itself. So say for instance, there's nothing to exit here right now. So let's go in a past, right? So basically, let me open up this chart. So this way we enlarge it, it's much better deal. Or 60 minutes will give you more reasons to look at many in and out kind of situations. So we're gonna do here, look. Everybody can see my chart? Uh, yes, we can, Peter. All right, so for instance, Pick up any place. So I will end out a little bit, so exit, right? I was long for a long time, say for instance. So if I want to take profits, right? So many times you get stopped out because you put the stop below red magic line. Because when it's trending, I want to stay in the trade to maximize the profit, right? So here we got into say above the magic line, right? So for instance, right? As long as it doesn't close below it, I'm okay. So basically it's a profit taking here. As soon as you see the spike halfway, you better get out because this is the results are obvious here, right? Even though this one is that, but don't forget it's in the, when you get a subscription, Metastock will give you the supplement for how to do interpretation of the vertical line and a spike. So basically you don't need to wait until the whole spike is finished when you take profit. As soon as you see spike forming, you get out. 
And that's as simple as that. So that's one way. Now let's see here. The catalyst also becomes a sign of getting out. So another signs are, let's see here. I use the forecaster to get exit. Suppose I want to short it, I will short it here, right? Because it's telling me we're going to go down. What else you want? Look, it should come in right here. We're going to go low. Did it? It did. So now I'm short here and I got CT here, counter cycle. I'm the first one to run out or spike is forming halfway. Even though it's a red ribbon, so what? Get out. And you could save a bunch of your money. And this spike forms, right? Technically, this is the anchoring. It will come here. The baby is already born. So why do you want to stay here? So you get out. Usually minus five, minus six, on even on a forecaster, is the end of the rope. It's the end of the road. You're going to go in trouble. And this is also I use as an exit sign. And this is the magic zone level. It's a, like a, a line in the sand, right? We were bullish, we retrace, and then we're moving higher probably. So even though it's an E type of perceptor, it bounces off the level. Either you put a stop here and get stopped out, right? Or just get out because I don't trust this market, to be honest with you. It can change any given time. Usually pullback is the place my hands are reaching, take the profit. That's my exit, practically. Well, I want to wait until it goes down here or somewhere here. The time value is more important. I could find another trade with more money, right? And keep doing it, it's better. We are not like a day trading. A couple of days we were there, four or five days or more is risky in reality. Magic trader because of pinpoint entry, even in a bad market, you could see, we could stay a few more days because we have pinpoint low risk entry. And if you really see through, compare anything you want to, this is a catalyst, this is a catalyst, right? Where did the drawdown after that? This was the entry point, right? And it was at the magic line. So was you, usually I teach people to get into re reversion area, which is the distance between green and red magic line. So all these people, I was the one teaching risk reversion at one point in a technical analysis. I figured out, we don't need to go and make a project out of it and ask geniuses, you become your own genius. Anytime you could enter this also entry point, good entry point, lower risk right in between, right? If it goes down, you stop out, so what? But look at this here, rewards almost no drawdown after you enter in here correctly. The risk reversion area is also exit point if it doesn't work out. But when you have a spike form, yellow bar here, right? This already ahead of the game here, half of the health <coughs> proof is in a pudding. And it shows here yellow bar, we are ready to go high. And counter cycles, look at this here, counter cycles. Right, so if you are short, that's your exit point. Don't stay in a trade. So those are few of my exit strategy. Spike is the best one. I love it because that is also kind of directional, but entry point. So we officially directional line is this one, but this also follows as a small scalping direction and the entry point together, technically. See here, we were bearish, in the, but institutions were buying here. We all know, anybody who is using that, they know. Uh, I want somebody over there that, do I show you so many proofs, even tape with the institution and who are the buyers even? A billionaires buying. And we got the list of those people. Anybody can say they eyewitnesses, so other people feel confident about it. I'm showing you the tape even. Anybody who is existing part of the alert room member can say whatever they want to say. Suppose there is a big handle. We know 
how many blocks of trades went on calls puts whatever it is we saw it somebody can write it down yeah we are in a couple of members of the room saying yes you showed it and yes you showed it almost every day i show because one of your guy asked me that question how do you believe this is institution i spent a lot of years there and now i'm showing the reality So software right. does its job whenever you feel it is good, then it's good. If you don't feel good, nothing I could do about it. So any other question, people have it? Oh, another thing, direction change, exit, exit, golden bar, opposite to turquoise bar. Look what happened. I prefer golden bar close below it, but in this case, it worked out better. That's your exit if you are long. And before that, look, it was showing we're going to go down. So what are you waiting for? If you really see, this is a squeeze, right? If I take this one out, look, it will look much better. Look, it's so funny. Look how it looks. Indigo bar is one of these things. I pay close attention. I prefer it goes below it. but. If you have a D1, that is also exit sign, right? And manual has all this symbol explanation. It gives you so many opportunity to short, to buy puts here, unreal. So somebody said, where is the call option? We don't need to go too far, right? Detach and attach. I may have to attach twice, I guess. I knew it. It takes a little longer sometimes. Option. Yep, you have to do some magic here. What went wrong? You're not attaching. Um, try, uh, uh, ooh, well, it looks like you're getting a data refresh. Um, try clicking on the guy in the bolo hat up at the top. Which one? Here? Yeah. Well, go ahead and try this. Uh, go ahead and uh, Let since we're here anyway. Yeah. Ah, here we go. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Look Glad here. I fixed it. <laughs> Look here. It was telling, right? By put plus plus sign is strong. You have a spike. You have D one by put here. Things are obvious after that, and here is the reversal. Then buy your put back. We sell it. Look here. Turkish bar. You don't need to stay in there. So if you want to trade option, but you should also understand your market maker game, you got to also play, right? The premium gets sucked in, sucked out, right? Even I will tell you honestly, uh, W, which was the trade I was in, I took a little small loss and get out because they're playing games, right? So WBA, right? It was 57.58 spread right and they jack it up to 75 right and yellow bar uh, came in and they jack it to 75 and then the indigo bar there was a clear fight i could see it a fight between bulls and bears and they suck all the premium out bring it back to 59 right so uh, sometimes market makers wonderful even though Indigo bar came in, they kept the same premium. And then they realized, holy cow, it's going the other way around. And then they drop it to 59 at the close. So I got out at that time, I took a loss. I, I don't want to stay in there. They're playing games. And I didn't like the win which market close. It looks good, but I don't think so. So you, you need to look at that in a way you feel comfortable and there's nothing wrong taking loss. And I told these people this morning, I'm gonna see how the game is played. Even though they could go up, I am not taking more risk. So I took a small loss and get out. So I was very clear before I took loss, today is the time, right? It's supposed to close about 40, 44, uh, 44, 14 area, it did not. So I'm not, you know, I stay disciplined because I teach people discipline. I could always go back, 
There's nothing wrong with that. Any other question? No, uh, we don't have a, uh, any other questions. I do want to put up the phone number and the offer again and yeah, uh, maybe read a comment or two about the thing. So let me go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and uh, change the presenter to me. Right. And uh, again, what we're going to be doing for today's special is we're going to give you a special price of 848 So um, that's uh, a discount, um, a huge discount on getting the Magic Trader, a free month of Metastock if you need it, the Magic Trader training. Um, give us a call at 800-882-3040 or metastock.com slash sales chat. Uh, Dakari uh, says he absolutely shows us proof of the large institutions, all, read, all real time and real money from tape. Um, Shamari says the informa information he shares with us in the room is amazing. And so if you do wanna be a part of the room, again, the room is something that you can kind of go in and kind of uh, see, uh, it's called the educational alert room. You get to spend some really good time in a room of people that are really just giving you good trading ideas, good education, and talking about kind of like how to use Magic Trader. It's two ninety nine per month, and again, if it's helpful, it's helpful. So, if you want to get information on that or any of the other stuff that we're talking about today, give us a call eight hundred eight eight two three zero four zero or metastock dot com slash sales chat. So. Um, that's it. Peter, right. I want to say thanks for spending some time with us today. Thank you to you. I appreciate uh, your time and arranging for me. And anytime. thanks for everybody for coming in. Uh, and for everybody, everybody else that came, enjoyed. thank you. Yeah, thank you for coming. I hope you learned something. I hope it was helpful for you. Uh, I hope you stay healthy. There's this whole Delta variant going around, but I hope you stay well. And uh, I hope to see you at the next one. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, everybody.